The first time I heard about um, Automata was when I was uh, shooting with Pedro Almodovar, the skin I live in, and Elena Naya, uh, my partner in the movie, she brought me uh, uh, this script with the artwork attached to it. And I started reading it in page 28. I was very enthusiastic about it. So I called him. I said, listen, I am in page uh, 28, Gabe. If the script in page uh, 106 is the same, we're going to do this. And he was yes, he told me something like, well, I'll wait for an hour, <laughs> an hour and a half until you finish. I'll be here just attached to my phone waiting uh, for that call. So I did call him. It was more philosophical. It was more human in a way, uh, with a great story that uh, it has uh, uh, remnants and smells of the film noir from the 40s and 50s mixed with a fantastic plot. And, and all of those things convinced me. Uh, the kind of uh, retro future uh, vision of the whole entire story, you know. And in a way, the whole entire movie is like a mirror that reflects what we could have been, and we are not anymore. And robots takes that, and they are uh, ruled by wh what they call protocols, uh, certain rules that are very strict. So something is going to happen in the movie with those protocols that is going to modify the story, and it's going to just make. Uh, uh, robots actually just start walking in a completely different direction outside of the control of the human beings. My character is a very gray man that works in a company that is also in decline. They're just uh, fixing old robots. They don't have new materials uh, to make uh, new components and, and a new robots. So he's uh, a, a man that actually doesn't like the world in which uh, he is living. He got serious uh, problems uh, with that. And the problems are magnified when I know that my wife is uh, pregnant. He doesn't think that to bring a new baby to this world uh, he hates uh, is a good thing. In a way, accidentally, he gets involved in all of this uh, singularity issue that we were talking about before. He, he's going to have to make an investigation about the possibility of a robot uh, breaking what we call the second protocol, which is fixing themselves. And so I think uh, for a long time in the movie that there is somebody behind that, and so I am on the search of that person, that person that we call the clocksmiths. There are a number of people that work outside of the company. They just uh, uh, modified and alter and robots for their own convenience uh, in many different ways. And so I, I think that somebody's behind that and I'm going to initiate that investigation and then that investigation is going to take me to the whole entire adventure. It's a very European movie in a way. The people is going to have those moments of chasing cars and explosions and thrilling moments in the movie, but uh, there is something else in the whole entire product that we are trying to defend at all costs, which is uh, to have a content that is interesting for all type of audiences, not only young kids, uh, we want to just uh, go a little bit further than that.